a tumultuous meeting exposes a yawning chasm hello everyone Federica and benedict's rpg kim k back with some more triangle strategy in the previous video we made the biggest decision we could in this game that decides the ending is between roland Frederica, or benedict's plan and whichever one you pick decides the ending and we went with Frederica's. and we're going to see how long it takes us to get to the end here then i'll decide if i will do the um other ones as well or if i'll just go straight to the true ending route uh, so yeah all right let's see how this plays Yet out only one will emerge victorious for such is the custom of house wolford as ever the scales of conviction have the final word so I the time has can't come to see what happens here to be rendered and leaders to steal themselves for the outcome so i did do a little bit of grinding off screen not that much uh it was kind of hard because the majority of my characters that i would take into battle with me were already like at like 28 or like 27 so they were pretty high up there um but i was actually able to convince anna to side with us uh this time around so and uh was able to convince her of someone else too or was I able to convince someone else? I can't remember who. But if you guys remember, on the actual video, we had a tie. And then I was the one that got to pick who we got. Um, so, yeah. One last request. Alright, I'm sure everyone's going to agree with this, right? We've chosen our path. We are to free the Roselle being held in Hyzant's source. You have chosen the one path I cannot take. I understand your disappointment, Benedict, but the scales have spoken. And so I ask for your wisdom. Help us find a way to free the Roselle. Hyzant will destroy everything you hold dear if you attempt to free them. That way lies ruin. Your choice is to turn your back on this house, to cast aside your land and the people who have built their lives upon it. I will not, I cannot endorse such betrayal. I agree that we will be ill prepared to defend the domain this way. Should that come to pass, I am prepared to flee with the Roselle and search for Centralia. They say it is home to a boundless salted sea. Surely a land where none need fight for salt is a land worth seeking. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity, Benedict. We could find a new home instead of fighting the wars of old yet again. Why not channel that resolve to lead the people of Norzelia as their king? You hold the power and the might. You lack only the will. With the salt crystals in hand, you shall ascend the throne. I shall see to it that you are coronated. Then we can liberate the Roselle, or whatever else your heart desires. Liberate the Roselle, or whatever else? I never dreamed I would hear such callous words fall from your lips. I stand by them. I care only that you and the legacy of House Wolford are safe and secure. I shall offer my counsel by force, if needed. You don't mean to fight the lad. Stand down, Benedict. No, Anna. This is a challenge that I must accept. I beg you to reconsider. If you mean to proceed with this folly, 
then you will do so over my dead body. You can Alrighty. do so much more, Lord Serenoa. The salt crystals give you the upper hand. Esfrost and Hyzant would bend the knee to you. You could unite all Norzelia under your rule. You were right about me, Benedict. I lack the will. I have no desire to rule Norzelia. I wish to see an oppressed people set free and nothing more. At what cost? Would you see your loyal subjects conquered by another nation? I would forfeit my lordship. The people of Wolfort will endure without me. The Roselle have no such champion for their cause. We are the only ones who can set them free. Give me the order, and I shall reduce Hyzant to rubble. Then they shall be free. The ensuing battle will only breed further resentment, or worse, displace others who will be treated like the Roselle. War cannot solve every problem, and our liberation of the Roselle shall prove as much. So, you now take blind counsel from your betrothed. To think that an arranged marriage will lead to this folly. This folly. Enough! I came to this conclusion of my own free will. I have seen the challenges that face Norzelia, and this is how I choose to respond. You are every inch Lady Destra's child. Your compassion steers you headlong into every conflict. Alas, compassion is easily trampled. It can only exist so long as it has an army at its back. My patience grows thin, Lord Serenoa. The salt crystals give you the power to bring peace to Norzelia. You're wrong! It is little more than the catalyst for another protracted war. A war we can win. Let me lead you to victory. There is always a war to be won. Do you not see the cycle at work? I will break that cycle and use my power to liberate the oppressed. You talk of fleeing from your duty, of pure fantasy. We need you, Benedict. Why can you not put our differences aside? This is absurd. You race toward your own destruction, and I will not be party to it. Lord Simon entrusted me with the future of this house. And I swore an oath to Lady Destra that I would protect you no matter what the cost. You are shackled to the past, Benedict. I would call it loyalty. And it has come to this. For the sake of our future, I must strike you down. Prepare yourself. You can't yeah. you control it, otherwise it'll go black. Ah. Ah. You came ah. and missed. Ah. 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 I yield. Grant me the mercy of a swift death. <sighs> no. Neither father nor mother would stand for the killing of a loyal retainer. <sighs> the rest of us shall make our way to Hyzant in secret. You will remain here. Lead the people out of the Wolfort Domain before the Hyzantian army assaults this castle, and keep them safe. These are your orders. 
in exchange for sparing my life? These are not orders, and there is no exchange to be made. This is the last thing I will ever ask of you as my steward and loyal friend of House Wolfort. And so, you follow in the footsteps of Lord Simon and Lady Destra. Leaving me behind with the most arduous tasks. I shall rise to the occasion, my lord. I shall do whatever is required to see that the Wolfort name and its people survive. Should House Wolfort lose its lord, I shall lead the house forward in your stead. I have no doubt you will. Benedict left the party. <sighs> Benedict. <sighs> Mule-headed fool. We've each made our choices. Now we must walk the path we believe is right. Yes. King Roland, this decision means casting Glenbrook aside. I know I cannot ask you to come with me, but will you agree to see to the salt crystals? No. I am sorry, my friend, but I am not worthy to oversee such an important task. Of course you are. You have always striven to be fair and just. You hold me much too high in regard. Our conversation earlier made me realize the truth. My faith was misguided, as were my actions. I believed exacting vengeance upon Esfrost would be proof enough I was Glenbrook's rightful king. But I gave no thought to the bloody cost of revenge. This kingdom and its subjects should not have to suffer such a selfish fool upon the throne. Then, you will come with me? I shall. Not as your king, but as your friend. If I can help those in need, that is enough. Glenbrook has the geographical advantage, and the salt crystals. And there are a small handful of trustworthy nobles remaining. I'm certain they will ensure the people thrive, even without a king. Glenbrook is in too powerful a position for foreign powers to interfere. Roland. You know you aren't leaving me behind. I've come this far by your side. I'm not abandoning you now. You have my thanks, Huet. Frederica, don't you think you ought to make your convictions clear to your companions? Well, it's common knowledge by now that I am an Esfrosti of Rosellen descent. I was a lonely child who hated that her hair was a different color from everyone else. But then I joined House Wolfort. I met Jerome and witnessed the cruelty that my fellow Roselle suffered at the source. And I learned how brave my mother was, how long and hard she fought for her people's freedom. Compared to the horrors they went through, I have lived a life of privilege and comfort. I am proud to be a Rosellen and proud to be a Wolfort. I wish to be strong, strong like my lady mother before me. And I wish to see her dream of freeing our people fulfilled. I understand the difficulties that lie ahead. But hope that I might have you all with me. We will always be there beside you, Frederica. My lord, Isant's army has sent a message ahead of their forces. It says, the Grand Norzalian Mines must be conferred to the Goddess as a divine offering. An offering? Sounds more like an ultimatum. Precisely. If we refuse to relinquish the mines, they'll put the Wolfort Domain to the sword. 
and we've no time to waste. We must make ready to leave at once. Alrighty then. Do we do a battle or is it more cutscenes? More cutscenes. Yeah, the one house that's been destroyed. Benedict. I leave the rest in your hands, Anna. All these years I have watched you. I may not be able to replace you, but I will do my best. Loath as I am to burden you with such responsibility, that is heartening. This ain't the Benedict I know. Come on, where's your usual glower? <laughs> you never change. Huh, I should hope not. Defending House Wolfort calls for consistency. And defend Wolfort I shall, even in your absence. I shall hold you to it, both of you. I'm telling you, we've got it under control. Your voice hasn't gotten any quieter. Sorry. Parting ways with a friend always gets me worked up. Thank you for seeing me off, you two. Farewell. What of the Hyzantian forces? They haven't entered the Domain yet. If we act now, we could sneak around them and reach the capital. Focused as they are on seizing the Salt Crystal deposits, I'd wager their domestic defenses are at a minimum. If we can get into the capital and have the Roselle and the Source take up arms, we should stand a fair chance of helping them escape. But Hyzant is wary of Serenor for keeping the Salt Crystals from them. Despite his position as one of the saintly seven. They may be short-handed, but if they spot him, we'll never make it inside. We can use the consortium cart to slip unnoticed into the capital. The wagon from Claris? Are you sure we can trust the consortium? Yes. If only because this benefits both us and him. In exchange, I told him what secrets we learned of Esfrost and Heisen. You mean you told them of Dragan's murder and the illicit salt trade? I hope he understands those secrets must never leave his lips. He understands. Once people learn of the salt crystals, Norzelia will change. And the Consortium will have a new role to serve. Now that they know, they will be better prepared to negotiate their position. They agreed to help us as a show of gratitude. You've thought this through. Well done, Anna. Well done, Anna. One of our things, Gila. Stored safely within the cart, of course. Things? What things? The explosives we found in the tunnel. After we've gotten the Roselle to rise up, we'll set sail from the harbor and make for the Folk's Domain, to the Great Falls. To make sure no one follows us, we'll blow up all the other ships in the harbor as we leave. Frederica and I devised the plan ourselves. Nice. <laughs> a perfect way to make an escape with so many people. Wise of you to make for the Falk's Domain. It's distant enough. You'll have plenty of time to hide. Aye, about as far south as you can get. No better place if your end goal is Centralia, too. It's a good plan. We shall do what we can to make sure it succeeds. <laughs> Crafty as ever, you Wolforts. I am glad to be on your side. But one problem remains. How do we get the Roselle and the Source to turn against their captors? If we can't win their trust, all this is for naught. We need some way of persuading them. And quickly, too. The uh, Roselle's in the Let village? Let me worry about that. I can find the words to convince them. I am my mother's daughter, after all. Or that. All right. I mean, I guess I know you'll they need to find a way to do that in case you didn't get rid of the Roselle's... In case you did get rid of the Roselle's in the village. Word. Of course, my lady. Where to? The Rosellen village. I'd like to tell Jerome and the others of our plan. I would have them meet us at the Great Falls. Agreeing to such a thing means they will have to give up the lives they enjoy now. Do you think they will come? I cannot say. Regardless, I owe it to them to let them know Hyzant is invading. Indeed. 
Let us send word and see what they have to say. Upon learning of the salt crystal deposits, Hyzant quickly musters her forces. They march upon the Wolfort Domain, intent on seizing control of the mine. Serenoa decides to take this as an opportunity to free the Roselle enslaved at the source. But that decision leads to Benedict's departure from House Wolfort. Still grappling with grief over parting ways with their friend, Serenoa and the others make for the Hyzantian capital. There, amidst a land in turmoil, they hope to help the Roselle rise up against their oppressors. Ah, yes, and of course I had some character stories as well. Oh, let's see what's happening here on the side. Archduke Gustadon, we received word from Wolfort. XM's forces have crossed into their domain. So they know of the salt crystals. Then battle is inevitable. How will House Wolfen respond? I should think it obvious they will attack us. Their lord is one of the saintly seven, after all. I am unconvinced of that. Perhaps they will offer us salt crystals to secure our alliance. To what end? History is changing around us as we speak. If Wolford wishes to guide the shape our future takes, he will need all the help he can get. He can choose to submit to Hyzant's tyranny, or work with us to bring freedom to our land. Or, he might choose to take advantage of the chaos. Will you follow in Lady Orlea's footsteps, Frederica? Somehow, I doubt it. Hmm. Your pardon, Archduke. It's nothing. I let my thoughts wander too far. I like Uzdal's voice Whatever actor. Path Wolford chooses, they all lead to war. Ready our forces. Oh, this is a new person. Who are you? Ah, oh, my shop! Someone stop this madness! Carry on screaming and sniveling! This land is ours now, and we'll do as we please! You... you monsters! Ha! Try me! I'll cut you down where you stand! Ah, oh, damn, another hawk rider? Just what do you think you're doing? You disgust me. Be gone from this place. So, you've chosen death then. Hold! Lest my eyes deceive me, is that not Sir Flanagan? And what if I am? Tis him! The bloody shield in the flesh! Black Iron Captain! Damn it all! Run for your life, you fool! How far they have fallen. They confuse might for morality, and sully the Duchy's good name. Hail, soldier! I cannot thank you enough for coming to my aid. Tis instinct. I cannot abide such cruelty. Though I no longer call myself a soldier, it is the only station my skills afford me. My lord, a man calling himself Flanagan requests an audience. Will you grant it? Flanagan? The name sounds familiar somehow. 
Ah, he fought in the tourney, didn't he? Uh, the one they call the Bloody Shield. He is Frosty Soldier. What brings him to me? Anyhow, send him in. My lord. Been a few moons, Bloody Shield. And many more since I answered to that name. Then what brings an S. Frosty to us this day? Words cannot bring back your countrymen. But I give them to you anyway. I condemn the Duchy's actions with every fiber of my being. Deeply ashamed am I of our Archduke's willingness to shed the blood of innocence. Meager though they may be, you have my sympathies. So, you came all this way just to apologize? You're a strange one, all right. Hey, if I get another Hawk Rider, I'm a okay with that. And that is why I offer my service, that my words might ring true. Like, is he a Hawk Rider why with the sword? For it? There are far greater armies that would give anything to have a warrior like you in their ranks. I have no interest in further bolstering the might of S. Frost or Heisen. They oh. trample the weak with no remorse. I will stand for it no longer. And you think you can stand here and call us weak? You little... You intrigue me, Sir Flanagan. But what of your title? Is your shield truly stained with blood? It's a name given to me by men, nothing more. You can trust he'll hold his own in battle if you take him in. One look is enough to tell you that. A boon to our cause, then. Provided we ourselves to not become the very thing you despise. House Wolfort welcomes you, Sir Flanagan. The feeling of intrigue is mutual. I am at your service. You're two peas in a pod, aren't you? Alright, Flanagan has joined your forces. Awesome. Uh, a rugged and mighty warrior swords above the battlefield. Draws the enemy's attacks, stands strong against head-on attacks. Okay, so he's actually a hot... Well, he, he can do um, attacks next to him. So he is a flyer that's based... He's like a flying um, Eridor, is what it seems to be. And a Hewitt. Okay. I'll probably go to the encampment after I watch these two just to see what um they have. Under this tree. This here's the land of the Jacks clan. Or used to be more like. That clasp on your chest, that's their sigil, if I'm not mistaken. It's a memento from my parents. Or so I was told. Aye. Now that I'm looking for it, I can see the resemblance. Same silvery hair and everything. Villages near here met with a pretty terrible fate. They begged the armies to spare their fields. The only one who listened was one of House Wolfort's bannermen. No one was surprised, big war hero that he was. But by the time we got here, the Jacks had been all but exterminated. He was digging graves for the dead, enemy and all. A hero and a gentleman he was. Names on the tip of my tongue. Benedict. Aye, that was it. Do you know the man? I'd like you to pass on my gratitude, if you do. Thanks for showing me the way. Your coin's all the thanks I require. If that's all you'll be needing me for, I'll leave you to it. You make a poor stalker. 
I'm actually Maybe quite curious if this scene I'm would have played out any differently if Bendik was still with us. You fought in the battle here, didn't you? Benedict swore me to secrecy, but suppose it ain't break an oath if you already know. Oh, but first I ought to tell you, you've the right to the truth. And those ain't my words, they're his. That's why he never tried to stop you from finding out about your parents. You know of their fate? We drove the enemy up the clifftop, cornered him there. The same instant we cut their leader down, a babe cried out in the distance. In the hideout, we found you, all swaddled up. A letter pinned to you with that same clasp on your chest. <sighs> Live strong, Anna. Stronger than any. I see now. Your family died at our hands. If it's vengeance you want, you can take it out on me. That doesn't sound like the Eridor I know. Do you think so little of me? To assume I would forsake my friend, bloody my hands with revenge. I know the truth at last. That is enough. Is it, Anna? Or are you forcing it to be? Don't be a fool. Benedict is the one who raised me. If I ever want for a father, I know where to find him. And when we've won this war, I shall make sure he understands that. Alrighty then. Alright, here, what's on your mind? Girl. There we are. At it again, eh? You know, even the Dawn Spear set down his weapon on occasion. We are at war. I cannot hope to end it by being idle. <laughs> Spoken like a true member of the King's Guard. You lot were always too serious for my tastes. We were not serious enough. Where is the king we were meant to protect now? What will become of his kingdom? <sighs> king Regna and Crown Prince Franny are no more. Only Roland and Cordelia remain. When I think of how lonely my charge must feel, I almost feel smothered by the guilt. If he's lonely, he hides it well. Could be that losing his princely obligations has lifted a weight off his shoulders. And who are you to speak on his feelings? His father ever doted on Franny. He knew precious few moments of his mother's love before she passed. Even so, he tried his utmost to never show weakness in front of his sister. He was there for her in the worst of times. There was never a place near the throne for him. Truth be told, Sir Maxwell was more of a father to him than anyone. I'd like to think I have been more than his guard. Oftentimes, I felt like his confidant. Maybe a lover? and Fluhi are constant companions. As I said before, my prince, he is more than my companion. He is the truest friend I could ask for. A true friend? I must admit, I envy your relationship. My prince, I did not mean to... Tis nothing to apologize for. I simply find the idea of soaring the skies with a true friend to be somewhat... Romantic. You could do the same with the proper training. If it pleases you, my prince, I would gladly teach you. 
You would? Then I gladly accept. I trust you will go easy on me. I can promise no such thing. <laughs> you must become as ferocious as a hawk yourself if you wish to ride one. War broke out soon after that. My promise to teach him is yet unfulfilled. So I will train. I will fight. Until the skies are no longer clouded by the fires of war. Only then can I rest. Only then can we fly free. Perhaps then, with the wind in our faces, we can forget our stations. Our titles, if only just for one moment. Uh, what was that last part? You'll have to speak up. Nothing, nothing at all. Yes, it's back to training for me. I was I do like those little side things. I think I mentioned that before in like a previous part. That I do like those um side story things cuz they're really nice to do in here and such. So and there's our guy right here. Yes, my lord, do you have a need of me? I know you're accustomed to the ways of your army, but I doubt I've seen a final force. They're highly disciplined more than a little suspicious of me, but that's a bit their credit. I assure you there's suspicion I'm found. So as myself, I know well the value of loyalty. Are you someone that I can evolve or probably okay, doesn't look like it. So you're already a veteran man. Yep, there you are. Hawk Shield Wing God. Got a level twenty six, four to five. Raise your defense below your movement by one for three turns. Safe haven. Can't learn that to 30. Shield stance. Take 50% of damage for a selected ally for two turns. I, yeah. Um. Sarah Noah has that. Aerial assault. Ride your hawk to a select square. The hawk will deal physical damage to all enemies within the range. Okay. Shield bash and ironclad. Decrease damage taken head on. Hawk's bane. Increase damage afflicted to you by arrows. Oh, right. Did I get like a, a new thing here? I did not. Oh, I have no money. That's right. So then I think that's complete bullshit is, so it says right here is, these are the rewards you get, but I never got 4,000 in that. So that's bullshit. I don't know, maybe something I get from opening all the chests or something, I don't know. Anyway, all right, what's happening at Wilford Castle? The people of Wilford anxious at the sun turns and events are re revealed and the middle face appears, appears before them. Good old Benedict. I think I'll probably keep going until maybe either the chapter ends or when we get to the battle. What? You want us to leave the city? You couldn't have told us this sooner? I've got a family to worry about. I understand I ask much of you, but a bloody battle is nigh. You must be ready to evacuate if it comes to it. But where is our lord? Won't he protect us? Lord Saranoa marches toward an even fiercer conflict than what we face here. He left me to protect the people of Wolford in his stead. I ask that you trust in our house and do as I bid. All right then. Well, I suppose we'll start back. Your mastery at matters of war has kept us safe this long. Yeah, there we go. If you say we need to leave, that's what we'll do. You have my thanks. 
I've one more thing to ask of you. Something I'd like each of you to make. Edor gathers the saints to discuss how Hyzant will deal with both the mines and House Wolfort. Great. Minister Exham's forces ought to be crossing into Wolfort's domain any moment now. Will it be war, or will they relinquish the salt crystal deposits without resistance? I think we have no cause for worry. Minister Saranoa is one of our saintly seven, after all. Nevertheless, we cannot be certain what he will choose. Whoever controls those salt crystals controls the future of all Marzalia. Yep. Knowing that, you truly think he would give them up without a fight? Minister Lila is right. He may very well decide to ally with Asfrost and rise up against us. I made sure Minister Exam understood he may very well be marching to war. Wolfort is a prideful house. If we apply too much pressure on them, they may hold out simply out of principle. Honestly, they are more trouble than they are worth. It almost makes me wish we could turn them and Esfrost against each other. That is something else to consider. We could even promise them the Roselle's freedom, should they triumph over the duchy. A fine proposition. The best outcome would be to have them destroy Esfrost for good. And in doing so, they'd be destroyed themselves. Surely you would not wish for such slaughter. Soft hearts have no place here, Minister Kamsel. We fight for control of all Norzelia. Yeah, fuck you guys. And we must Fucking fight Nazis. to win. Fucking Nazis. Our troops will need Elfric, Minister Lila. See that they have it. Of course. I'll see so I was right with Anna. I need to say, like, hey, medicine. with whatever Asfrost's weapon is and that Alfric thing, there could be a shit ton of stuff happening. And she's like, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, one last request did just end. Um, I know I said I would try to go maybe until the end of the part, or uh, end of the... Until we get to a battle, but... Maybe I should end it here, but uh, okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to end it off here, guys. I know it seems kind of sucky to do that, but I think this is a good spot to end it. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give a like button, a click, and comment down below what you like about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of that um, request um, that we gave to Benedict and such. Do you think it'll all end up being okay? I hope so. So, yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both of my main Twitter are GKim Kids Twitter are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.